The Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-68 rocket system 68 is a liquid fuel rocket engine that uses liquid hydrogen LH2 and liquid oxygen LOX as propellants in a gas generator power cycle. It is the largest hydrogen-fueled rocket engine ever flown. Its development started in the 1990s with the goal of producing a simpler, less costly, heavy lift engine for the Delta IV launch system. Two versions of the engine have been produced, the original RS-68 and the improved RS-68A. A third version, the minus 68 billion rupees, was planned for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's NASA Ares V rocket that was later cancelled. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design and Development. A leading goal of the RS-68 program was to produce a simple engine that would be cost-effective when used for a single launch. To achieve this, the RS-68 has 80% fewer parts than the multi-launch Space Shuttle main engine SSME. The adverse consequences of this simplicity were the RS-68s having a significantly lower thrust-to-weight ratio and a 10% lower specific impulse compared to the SSME. The benefit of this simplicity is the RS-68's reduced construction cost. The RS-68 was developed at Rocketdyne Propulsion and Power, located in Canoga Park, Los Angeles, California, where the SSME is manufactured. It was designed to power the Delta IV Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle EELV. The initial development engines were assembled at the nearby Santa Susana Field Laboratory where the Saturn V's Rocketdyne F-1 engines were developed and tested for the Apollo missions to the Moon. The initial testing of the RS-68 occurred at the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, Edwards Air Force Base, California, and later at NASA's Stennis Space Center. The RS-68 was certified in December 2001 for use on Delta IV rockets. The RS-68 is part of the Common Booster Core (CBC) used to create the five variants of the Delta IV family of launch vehicles. The largest of the launch vehicles, the Heavy, uses three CBCs mounted together. At its maximum 102% thrust, the engine produces 758,000 pounds force (3,370 kilonewtons) in a vacuum and 663,000 pounds force (2,950 kilonewtons) at sea level. The engine's mass is 14,560 pounds, 6,600 kilograms. With this thrust, the engine has a thrust to weight ratio of 51.2 and a specific impulse of 410 seconds, 4.0 kilometers per second in a vacuum and 365 seconds, 3.58 kilometers per second at sea level. The RS-68 is gimbaled hydraulically and is capable of throttling between 58 and 102% thrust. The RS-68A is an updated version of the RS-68 with increased specific impulse and thrust to over 700,000 pounds force, 3,100 kilonewtons at sea level. The first launch on June 29, 2012, from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station used three RS-68A engines mounted in a Delta IV heavy rocket. <laughs> Proposed uses In 2006, NASA announced that five RS-68 engines would be used instead of SSMEs on the planned Ares V. NASA chose the RS-68 because of its lower cost, about $20 million per engine including the cost of NASA's upgrades. The upgrades included a different ablative nozzle to accommodate a longer burn, a shorter start sequence, hardware changes to limit free hydrogen at ignition, and a reduction in the amount of helium used during countdown and flight. Thrust and specific impulse increases would occur under a separate upgrade program for the Delta IV rocket. 
Later, the Ares V was changed to use six RS-68 engines, designated the minus 68 billion rupees. topic human rating it has been reported that the rs68 needs over 200 changes to receive a human rating certification nasa has stated that those changes include health monitoring removal of the fuel rich environment at liftoff and improving the robustness of its subsystems Variants RS-68 is the original version. It produces 663,000 pounds force kilonewtons thrust at sea level. RS-68A is an improved version. It produces 705,000 lbf, 3,140 kilonewtons thrust at sea level and 800,000 lbf, 3,560 kilonewtons thrust in a vacuum. Its specific impulse in a vacuum is 414 seconds, 4.06 kilometers per second. Certification testing was completed in November 2010. Minus 68 billion rupees was a proposed upgrade to be used in the Ares V launch vehicle for NASA's Constellation program. The Ares V was to use six minus 68 billion rupees engines on a 10 meters (33 feet) core stage, along with two 5.5 segment solid rocket boosters. It was later determined that the ablative nozzle of the RS-68 was poorly suited to this multi-engine environment, causing reduced engine efficiency and extreme heating at the base of the vehicle. See also Comparison of orbital rocket engines M1 rocket engine National Launch System Rocketdyne J2 RS-83 Space Launch Initiative TR-106